It's me, Jay Evans, and you know what time it is. It's time for us to talk the talk. We talk about any and everything. And the first thing I want to talk about is marrying millions. Now, let me tell y'all something. If you haven't been watching Marrying Millions, I don't know where you've been at, okay? This show is on Lifetime. It's hilarious. And the only reason why it's hilarious and the only reason why I watch it is for Rodney and Desiree. That's it. When the other people are on there, like it's an older lady, she claims she's 45, but she looks like she's about to draw Social Security. But she's on there. She's saying she wants to have a baby, but she can't buy some skater guy. But when they're on or the other people, I might watch it, but I might go turn my fish over in my deep fryer. I might go to the washing machine and put my clothes in the dryer. I might go clean my bathtub. I might clean my microwave. Okay, while all that is going on. But when Rodney and Desiree come on, I'm, I'm parked at the sofa. So, let's talk about it. Before I roll into that, let me say this. All topics are alleged and allegedly they are strictly for entertainment and gossip purpose only. It's just for us to get a good chuckle and laugh because this is America where you can run your mouth. Now, let's talk about them. Now, the episode came on last night. I watched it. I had to watch it again before I decided to do this video so I could recap like a news reporter and bring it to you live and direct. It was Meet the Parents. Yeah, Rodney Parents, they showed up and the mama showed out. Now, the stepdaddy, it was Rodney's stepdaddy, he came on in. He didn't say a lot. Um, now, what they got into is them dating for two years okay so you've been with desiree for two years and this is her first time meeting your mom and your stepdad now the mom said and she said some key things she said she always wanted rodney to get married and find the right person notice that word keeps coming up on their person most people wouldn't say person they would just say i want my son to Find a nice wife, a nice girlfriend. I want them to settle down with the right woman. They're saying key words. Person. You say person when it might be allegedly the organ player at church. It might be your uncle that's never been married, that does not have any kids, but he's great at decorating. Okay? Person. But... He also said, and she also said from the last episode, she knew it was something that he had to say. She would let him say it in his own time. And, you know, people don't say person or someone. Those are key words. Pay attention to those words, y'all. So, the mom said, it'll be nice to have a daughter-in-law. Now, they came through. Desiree flew in from L.A., and they were at the table eating, you know, the, the mom, the stepdad came in, they hugged everything. And, you know, they, at that point, they had a good vibe going. So Desiree's excited, like, oh, my mother-in-law, my mother-in-law. The mother-in-law, Rodney's mom was like, yeah, I get a good feel for her. Uh, once they sit at that table, once you sit down and break bread with people, that's when it gets real. That's when you can get into their head. That's when you can get into their thoughts. Like Ike said to Anna Mae in the movie, I'm in here and I'm in your head. That's when it went down. Okay. So at the table, Desiree said, um, we're not having sex until we get married. Desiree, why would you say that? You didn't have to say that. Like, this is this man's mother. And, okay, I think Rodney allegedly is like 50, maybe. Okay, so his mother is older. That's not something I would say to a mom, unless the mom had him when she was 12 and they grew up together. They played jacks together. They played hopscotch together. They were on that same level. But even then, as a respect thing, I wouldn't say that. So, when she said that, the mom said in her private interview, 
Do you think we need to be talking about that at the dinner table? <laughs> no, sis, I'm with you, Miss Mom. She said, I just met her 10 minutes ago. I didn't particularly like that. No mom, you know, wants to hear that unless you grew up with your mama and she had you when she was 12. Unless y'all like besties or unless she got a little rat in her, hood rat, ratchet. But his mom seems like, you know, the type that she ain't going for it. So at that point, Desiree said, we've been together two years. The mom replied, really? Not like, really? Like, really? Like, who is this, you know, hood rat hooker for hire? That's what she looked like she wanted to say. So <laughs> the mom and the stepdad were just like, we didn't know. And the mom was like, this is the first time I heard about this. So she then said, the mom, I don't know why Rodney kept it a secret. We need to find out. He needs to stop being so secretive about everything. Secretive. Yeah. Now, you know, people are secretive if they're from like that old school. If it's don't ask, don't tell. If it's, you can bring your friend. You know how that, that word friend is used when it's your uncle and his friend that live together and they shop together and they buy shoes together and they buy a house together that kind of friend so <laughs> the mom then asked Desiree where would they live at because they're in two different states uh she's in LA and he is in DC okay so Desiree said well Rodney is wealthy enough that we can have a place in in DC and in LA. Now, Desiree, you just played that whole spades game wrong. Now, if you are trying to get him for his money, because I don't think y'all are in love. I don't think y'all have any kind of relationship except maybe allegedly he's trying to, he thinks he's fooling somebody. And maybe you just want to be a sugar baby. That's what they call it when the person takes care of the other person the person that's being taken care of is the sugar baby it's a website with it y'all i can't make this up you got to look for yourself but that's what they call it so maybe she's a sugar baby um so at that point when she said that they can live in both places this is desiree now rodney says who said i want to do that and he said it like girl <laughs> like honey that's how he said that thing like so Desiree then said, in a relationship, it's not just you. There's no I in team. Okay, Des, you better come on. Um, to you, does that sound like a couple that's been together two years? Because if you've been with somebody two years and y'all are at the point where you're about to get married, location should be the last thing y'all should be talking about. Y'all should already have that thing worked out. Either I'm coming or going. Rodney's mom said he has his wine business. That's what made him a millionaire. And she was like, no, nah, he ain't going out there. And she seemed like the kind of mother where she's like, that's my baby. I'm not letting him go. So um, at this point, Rodney busted her out. He put her on front street, as the kids say. Rodney said, I'm paying the bills. And the mom said, you paying our bills? This the only time, y'all, besides the stepdaddy walking in and speaking and Desiree giving him a little hug. He didn't even get too close for the hug because the mama looked at him like, you better lay low like he know, okay, the little pet. So, besides that hug and him saying hello, when Rodney said, you paying the bills, the mom said, you paying the bills, the stepdaddy just said, damn, boy, <laughs> that's it. That was all he said, and he shook his head like, shake it, shake it like a Polaroid picture. He shook his head like he had some yakky hair in his head, like the cheap weed. He shook his head and just said, damn, boy. Now, Rodney then replied to that, unfortunately, and he laughed. Um, so he takes financial care of Desiree, and Desiree said, um... It just wasn't like that. He wanted it like that. That's your son, not me. That's her saying that Rodney wanted that. Now, this is me. Um, 
if you didn't want it like that, you would not have to take the money, Desiree. You wouldn't let him pay your bills, and you're letting him do that, and you're saying that you won't sleep with him but because you're a Christian. But y'all remember it said it off when Jada Pickett character needed the money for her brother for school and she had to sleep with Nate to get the money. Now, I'm not saying you got to do something strange for a piece of change, but if he's doing all this and you're a Christian, well, if you were a Christian, you wouldn't be taking this man's money unless you're married to him. You a sugar baby. That's what you are. Now, in their solo interviews, because y'all know how they slice in a solo interview with the stuff rolling. Desiree told Rodney, um, you could have said something that I'm not a gold digger. Like, he could have defended her. Rodney said to her, you're grown enough to know what not to say and what to say. Then Rodney said with a sassy attitude to her, do you still want to continue to have your bills paid? Yes or no? Then he said yes or no? It shook his head again. And he had a little sis look on his face like a little pout like... <laughs> That's the way he was looking. Desiree didn't answer the question. He just gave her sis vibes. Now, Desiree said to the mom, because it went back to them at this point, she said it's not about the money, it's about the heart. The mom said, but you're allowing him to pay your rent and your bills, so money has a factor. She read you right in front of your face and told you like it was. Um, in the solo interview, it cut to the mom. She says she's leery of Desiree. Why accept the money for rent and bills? Something has to be exposed. Then the mom asked her, have you been married before? Desiree said she's been married twice. The mom said, wow. Like, wow. Then the mom asked her, were both of the men wealthy? Desiree said, no, but she's dated a millionaire before. The mom said... She knows women that have dated men with good hearts, but the intention was to get their money. Um, Desiree then told her, I would, no, the mom told Desiree, I would hate for you to marry for money. Dad said, I would never do that. You know, she turned into Little Red Riding Hood. I would never do that. And she did a little soft voice and a little angelic head shake. Um, then in the solo interview, it cut the dads and she said she needs to mind her business. Now, your head wasn't being so soft and angelic and you was waving it like with the fan, with the hair blowing. You was just like, she needs to mind her business. The mom said at the end before they ended the, the episode, I want the best for my son. I'm not going to settle or anything or anybody, anybody keyword, because a regular mom would say anybody, they would just say any woman but keyword now they showed a next week preview clip the mom said she doesn't approve of desiree desiree said to rodney your mom is a phony and rodney said back we don't use that word again so that was the episode they had other stuff going on i didn't even watch it i just watched rodney and des and that was the mom meeting des that was des response now to me Des, you messed that thing up. Because what you should have did, the mom at first thought she had a good vibe for you. She was saying, you know, nice stuff. Like, y'all were killing each other softly. Like, killing me softly. Y'all was getting along. Y'all was like the Fugees when they was together. But when you sat at that table and you broke that bread and you told that woman, we're not having sex, close your mouth. That's all you should have did, sis. You should have kept your mouth closed. Because let me tell you something. That man is the kind of dude where if the mama don't like you, whatever he got going on, it's not going to work. Okay? Some people are just like that. Some people listen to their parents. Some people don't. But if you want to keep your bag and you want to keep what you're doing, you need to close your mouth. Now, I don't think she's get all rough around the edges. Rodney says that. He says that's what kept him from introducing her for two years, but yeah, Rodney, good luck with that lie, Rodrika. So, I don't know what to say. Y'all tune in, y'all watch it, tell me what y'all think. Now, the next thing I saw, and it tickled me, it truly tickled me, um, it's about Thea Bedell. A lot of y'all might remember her. Um, Thea was Brandy's TV mom on the show, Thea short-term show now this is via the jasmine brand 
uh, apple pie sent me this shout out to you um brandy's tv mom thea vidal says she's rooting for monica in the versus battle now <laughs> miss thea posted this on her twitter at the time and they dug it up um she said and tweeted let's go i'm rooting for monica then she explained i'm tired of people coming at me sideways about brandy i never said she wasn't talented i do and always will fundamentally disagree with her and her mama's disrespect while we work together on my sitcom and i stand by that that's what sis said and sis meant it now if you remember thea had this show um it aired from september 93 until february 94 this was on abc um thea was the first african-american female coming come comedian ugh, comedian that was a star that had her own show named after her now I went into Inspector Gadget mode because I like to see for myself when somebody drops me a tip. I just like the look. I went over to Twitter because I'm on there barely, hanging by a thread. But I went over there. And I said, well, let me see what Miss Thea is saying when I tell you black Twitter will roast you down to the ground. Black Twitter went so hard on Thea, she has either deactivated her account or is not active, or she just threw it away, tossed it up in the air like a rag down and gave it to Jesus. But you can still see some of the tweets where they edit her. Some people were for what she was saying, some people weren't. But somebody, let me just read some of them to y'all. Somebody said, Ethia, you're talking about the show that got canceled, the one you ran into the ground. Um, What's the word they use? With your nasty Ooh, i ain't even got this word I, I just don't want to say the words i'm trying to work on my potty mouth okay with your nasty attitude the industry seen what kind of person you really was what else have you played on okay Somebody else said she's not the only person that has had issues with branding her attitude when working with her Monica Countess Vaughn then they said Countess Vaughn magically got her own show Moesha was no more in the Parkers lasted five seasons. So please take a chill pill Somebody said um, you've always made me laugh so hard. I thought I was having a heart attack. Thanks for the great comedy over the years Keep it up Somebody else said they're standing with Miss Thea. Then this one was funny to me. They said, and put a picture of Thea in the cast from the show. Why they put you in them shoes, sis? And they spelled sis, S-U-S, sis. And it was a photo. I don't know if y'all remember the show, but it was Brandy. Um, Jason Weaver was also on the show, okay? Another young man, I don't know his name, and another guy. But baby, when they, when I tell you Twitter is hilarious, baby, do you see these shoes? Do y'all see these shoes? Y'all didn't have to do that, Black Twitter. <laughs> y'all are relentless. So, Thea has deactivated that thing or deleted it. I went over to Instagram because I turned into Inspector Gadget, Colombo, Perry Mason. Um, it just pulls up a page with her name, no post, no nothing. And y'all just went in on her. Now, the last thing I want to talk about. Um, this is via CNN because I like to mix in some real stuff with the gossip. Now, this is... Via CNN, it says, dozens of black former franchisees are suing McDonald's over alleged discrimination. A group of 52 former black franchise owners are suing McDonald's. The lawsuit filed late Monday accused McDonald's of discriminating against black franchise operators by offering better financial support and more favorable location to their white counterparts. The former owners, who together operated 200 restaurants from the 1980s through this year, okay, 
they said the plaintiffs are saying that the locations that they had were not secure. They made less in sales and they were misled about the profits that they could turn. And that's via CNN. Let me tell y'all something, apple pies. McDonald's has not been the same ever since they got rid of the McDonald's gang. It first started with Mayor McCheese when they knocked him off like James Evans on Good Times and it trickled on over. You know how older people say when you were a kid and it's just, maybe it's just me, but they used to say, the food doesn't taste the same. The music doesn't sound the same. And now I can say since I'm older, I get what they're saying because McDonald's, the fries ain't the same. And then I get mad at them because you want to have an attitude when I'm rolling through the drive through and I say the stuff so we don't have no problems. I say, I want the filet -O fish um, meal. I want a large fry and I want an orange fanta. Then why you apply? So what you want? What color drink you want? Color drink? I just told you I want an orange fanta. Baby, what's the problem? You don't want to be here? That's the problem with fast food. Now, if McDonald's, allegedly, if y'all have done this to these people, y'all need to break them off and break them off right. Even Burger King don't do right no more. I don't know where y'all at, but if you go to Burger King sometimes because they're working on a timer through the drive through they'll say, well, can you pull your car back and pull it back up? <laughs> no, I cannot. Are you going to give me a dollar fifty for putting my car in reverse and pulling it forward? Because you wanted to see the people at corporate like you didn't got this cold. Um, what's the word? Cold whopper to me okay burger king food is always cold y'all run the meat through the um the, the grill you run the buns through there and then you keep them in a warmer and then you're supposed to microwave it when i get the food straight and it's cold y'all try some burger king <sighs> y'all before i wrap up let me tell y'all something um it's important for everybody to get out there and vote I talk about a lot of stuff. I um, got somebody replying to me, why are you not telling people to vote? Why are you just gossiping? Well, let me tell you something. If you watch the videos, you'll see it because I talk about everything. The video might have one title, but I interweave stuff all in there together. So all you got to do is just go through there, watch the playlist, watch the videos. If you're not one of my apple pies, What's the Apple Pie, J. Evans? It's my subscribers. Subscribe to me, not just to subscribe. Subscribe to me. Set your alerts so you can see when I upload new videos. If you got something you want to talk about, if it's a topic, send it to me. If it's a tip about something current, send it to me. i talk about it. If I'm saying something you disagree with and you want to point me to a fact, drop it in the comments. Follow me on Instagram. It's the letter J Evans underscore talk to talk. If you want to email me, it's the letter J then Evans underscore talk to talk at Yahoo. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's the letter J Evans underscore talk. Now they ratchet. They wouldn't even let me put the whole thing. But before I wrap up, let me roll into something to let y'all know about some things that might help y'all because I have a whole team behind me that can help you with a few things. Hi, are you looking for affordable yet fashionable clothing? Look no further. Give us a look at www.bendthetrendbtq.com. You can also check us out on social media via Instagram at bendthetrendbtq and also on Facebook, bendthetrendbtq. Y'all heard that. So, 
if you trying to get your career together, you need some help, go over to Resume Chick. If you're trying to get your look together, go over to being a trend. And if you need even more help with your look, <coughs> let me help you with this. talk the talk we've chopped it up like veggies in a food processor for your christmas and thanksgiving dressing with that being said it's time for me to roll and it's time for y'all to get back to y'all regular life my sponsor said it i said it we've talked the talk now it's time to walk the walk bye apple pies y'all stay safe